Hello students. Let's start the third session of computer applications of management. This is for the fourth semester BBA students of Mangalore University. And today in this class we are going to study about the different classifications of computer. So computers can be classified based on various types. So we have first classification uh, of computers that is digital computers, hybrid computers and analog computers. The chart that you can see it will note both in the various classifications is explained in the form of a chart. Now let's understand each of this classification. We shall start with the first classification of computers, analog computers, digital computers and hybrid computers. So what are analog computers? Analog computers are the computers that we use to process continuous data. And the data when you continuous agi use smart one the how on the system again of analog computers and all over this TV. So you can samane wagi now you go on the temperature pressure check madwaga at on the voltage into related mechanical devices in the how on the machine galige analog computers and no use smart TV. Analog computers uh yen represent madatan thalidre they represent the variables by physical quantities. Okay, they are analog computers uh, measured continuously, but the main problem with the analog computers uh, are they are very special purpose computers and um, they produce very uh, results very fast, but there is one problem that the results may not be perfectly 100% accurate, so it may be approximately correct. The next type of computers, uh, you can see an image of analog computers. In on the second type of computers, digital computers. Digital computers are the computers that represent physical quantities with the help of digits or numbers. So numbers or uh, digits mukantara use madvanta on the computer ye now digital computer and takaritivi. And e computers in Madatan Thelidre, Yella Thradha digital calculation, arithmetical calculation, methodological uh, calculations sala madvanta computers agirite. Then the third type of computers are the hybrid computers. Hybrid computers are computers which have both and they are digital matto analog computers na characteristics what to say ridre agwanta hawandu features irwanta computers are called as hybrid computers. This has advantages of both the digital computers matto analog computers na yeradu advantages kuda e computer li namge sigate. So this is more or less ega now use madwanta halavaro system e comparison madre. This is a most popular of the computers. Next classification, uh, classification of computers based on application. It will be type of general purpose uh, computers and special purpose computers. General purpose computers, uh, the word is held again. All the operations, all the work is really marked. So, different types of programs can be done and it can, uh, we can do countless applications in the Mukhantra now Kelsa Matkobodo. So, this is normally easy to run the software and the ether computers again run the software. General requirements again, uh, you know, carry out mod one the software galane either really allowed to study. So, many users can use it simultaneously as it fulfills the general requirements. Special purpose or dedicated computers is second type. It really no specific purpose ke maatra use smart one the computers agirate. Like your, your game system or, or your ATM machines or information kiosk. In the house, uh, uh, you know, systems ali irwan the how on the computers ke. And the gaming system ali kali games maatra adli ke avakasha. Be rain of applications adrali hakli ke agudila. So, on the computers are called as special purpose or dedicated computers. The next classification of computers are based on the size, speed and capability. We have, uh, you know, these are the couple of types of computers. So, the first type of computers are the, you know, called as supercomputers. The large scientific method, research uh, laboratories, government organizations, extraordinary processing data, setup, use the computers again, now supercomputers. Highest processing speed, memory kuda, amele perfection in the work e computers ille namge sigate. They are very very large computers, and you can see the diagram here. I mean, you can see the image here of a supercomputer. These computers are extremely expensive. So tomorrow it's extremely expensive, and that's why in the highly scientific research laboratories ille kandu barvanta system. But it has a highest speed. You know, speed is measured in billions of instructions per second. So, on the second, you get billions of instructions. Got to, adu ashte perfectionally work mar mar today in the computers. Got to, and they are called as super computers. Super computers only. Advantage is the speed. The disadvantage is a large amount of heat is generated during this operation. So, Hagagi, you need the right facilities for this type of computer. There are two characteristics of uh, supercomputer. 
parallel agi saviraru instructions ottige kelsa madavanta ondu feature irutade that's called as parallel processing and fault tolerant it will uh, you know usually there will be uh, no errors and perfection is the order of this kind of super computers second type of computers are mainframe computers idu kuda bahala dodda computers namma entire room matu floors alli iruvanta computers agirutte normally used for centralized computing iruvanta ondu sangha samsthegalalli inta computers galanna nortivi it is also known as enterprise servers anta inond hesaru ide idike they serve distributed users and small servers in a computing network so mainframe computers idu characteristics nodbekidre it is very large fast and expensive computer and idakku kuda it cost a lot of amount of money it's bigger in size very expensive it supports a few hundred users simultaneously anta helidre multi users ommele thumba users ottige adannu operation athwa use maadkobodu difficult to use so you need training to use this type of computers more computing power than the mini computers idu kuda baala heat generate agwa karana you have to it has to be kept in a special air conditioned room it is normally used by large uh, business organizations and government departments so samanyavagi elli nav nortivi airline reservation alli andre ommele 1000 mandi reservation madvaga nimma server strong agirbeku big banks universities galaru Uh, natural gas and oil exploration companies space vehicle control weather forecasting companies animated cartoons madvanta company these are few of the examples where we use main frame so these are some of the images that we can see of the main frames so main frame with advantages multi users multi instructions eradu uh, supports many users and multi instructions ante ommele instructions thumba mandi otti kottre adu it will uh, follow the instructions and it has a absolutely large memory disadvantage is the two it's a huge size so aga ganta floorings and the buildings bekagutte amele it is quite expensive which is not affordable and not required by smaller organizations next type of computers that we are going to study is the mini computers mini computers are smaller than main frames both in size and other facilities so elladalle solpa chikkadagirutade main frame ginta speed storage alli and other services they are versatile anthe helidre halavaru functions and maaduvanta computer agirutade but their speeds per rated is 1 and 50 million instructions per second and they have primary storage in 100 to 300 megabytes and range with direct access storage devices so may mini computers are smaller in size and you very user friendly amele adannu multi users maadbodu hagagi adalli halavaru operations galannu ee computer mukantara maadkobodu so mini computers are medium sized computers so computing power lies between micro computer and mainframe computers idra madhyadalli iruvantadakke we call it as mini computers mini computers are bigger size than the pcs expensive than the pcs but one of the biggest advantage idrathu multi users so hagagi medium sized business organizations colleges galalli libraries galalli intaha computers galannu nam nodkobodu it is also difficult to use so hagagi one technically known person should be able to operate these computers and it is more computing power than pc so now nevu use madvanta computers galiginta idu jaasti computing power ide larger in size and expensive than our pcs advantages it caters to multiple users so multiple people uh, users can use it at one uh, one time lower cost than mainframe so mainframe computer comparison madide idu salpa kadime krayadalli namge sigutte disadvantages it is large and bulky in size the next one is a workstation this is a powerful desktop computer designed for a specialized task so specialized task ge use maduvanta desktop computer this also can tackle tasks that require a lot of processing speed so fast agi handle aguvanta kelsagalalli ee workstations mukantara work maadkobodu the next one is the micro computers they are smallest range of computers so uh, you know we the computers that we have at our homes in the offices they are all micro computers these were introduced in the early 1970s and they have less storing space less speed so micro computers of today's are equivalent to the mini computers of yesterday so hagagi munchina kaladalli 1970s ige sigu sikkuvantaha micro computers igu ivaga 2020 2021 ige sigvanta micro computers are good in terms of speed processing performance ela ivaga computers are very good and they are as powerful as the you know the earlier ones computers and they are also called computer of a chip because its entire circuit is contained in one tiny chip so you can see the example or the image of a micro computers micro computers advantages it it is small size it has a low cost portability so you can carry it from one place to another it's very handy 
low computing power commonly used for personal applications for home applications or for any smaller organization office work this is a most handy computer disadvantages of course speed is very very low so uh, the micro computer models are normal in the form of a desktop laptop notebook sub notebook palm tops etc these are the few things few other images that we can see of portable computers so desktop computers laptop and personal digital assistants and the uh, next one is the next one we can see is laptops and notebooks and handheld computers this is also personal digital assistant and cellular phones so in today's class we understood the various classifications of computers basically three categories of classification so digital analog computers and uh, hybrid computers then special purpose computers and general purpose computers and also the various classification of computers based on their size speed and their processing capacity thank you students in the next class we shall continue with the next concept of computer applications thank you very much